All right, I am back with another lifestyle vlog. So if you like keeping up with me, well, here you go. I'm back in the gym, y'all. And it's been a couple years. I've had two babies. So it's about that time I get that body back right. Now, I've been on a heavy cardio workout. I've been doing this machine. Um, I've been keeping the weights low because, again, I've been trying to do a lot of cardio and trying to work fast on the machines. Them damn ropes I've been doing... <laughs> I absolutely love those. I'm going to be doing those a lot. I'm trying to get rid of these um, flabby arms. You know, who wants flabby arms? I'm sick of them. Okay, and they run in my family. Look, everybody got them elbows. Everybody look like they can cook a mean meal, okay? And I'm trying to get rid of them things. So, I've been doing a lot of arm exercises. I absolutely love this. Um, and then I switch up the direction. This felt really good doing, but it will wear you out. I saw this one on Instagram. Some like workout guru was doing it, so I had to give it a try, and I like that workout. Um, yeah, I've been going crazy on the arms. And then I did this machine forever because, again, I'm just really trying to get that cardio in. I'm not too worried about toning right now. I want to burn the fat more than anything. That workout was super intense. I would have recorded more of my workout, but honestly... Recording myself working out is really weird. I don't see how people do it. Like, I don't know. I just, I put ahead to Whole Foods. So this trip to Whole Foods was pretty much a restock. I got some fresh fruits, some veggie noodles, and then I had to restock on some salad dressings and um, a couple of juices and stuff. Nothing major. So like I said, this is my third day. I'm tired, y'all. I just love Whole Foods. I'm tired. And I look like a thumb. <laughs> so, anyway, girl. <laughs> I've been working on a lot of art lately, y'all. This is like a fake cake box that I made. And it's supposed to look like a cow. Um... This was really fun to do. I really do got to like work on perfecting doing my fake cake because I really enjoy doing it. But it becomes tedious, especially when you start doing stuff like this. Like I needed to, you know, paint the clay to make it look like cow print and stuff. But that was really fun to make. And then I did a couple of pop-ups. Um, this was me just packing up for this Locust Fest pop-up I've always wanted to do. And the weather was not letting me live. I was so sad. But I still set my stuff up and tried to make the best of it. I networked with a couple people, got some sales, got some followers. So a win is a win. And I made it through the storm and people got to see my cool artwork. So... I'll take it. And then I also did some other pop-ups at the North Avenue Market in my city. And that was really fun. It's a new space in my city. So I got to explore that. And of course, new people got to see my art. So I'm always thankful for that. And I've just been trying to craft a lot, y'all, and perfect my craft and just do my thing, you know, get out there. So make sure y'all shop my Etsy. So another thing I've been on, I have been trying to find a new Juicy Couture bag. Now, I've been searching for, you know, a velvet one. And this is just me and Marshall's looking for a Juicy Couture anything, honestly. But what I really want is a new Juicy Couture bag. They have some super cute, like, accessories and beauty stuff. And I did want to score some Viva La Juicy perfume. But that's not what I was really looking for. So I got over to the handbags. They didn't really have nothing. They did have some cute stuff, but they didn't really have what I was looking for. So I said, forget it and headed to look for some stuff for my babies because we got beach day coming up. So I headed over to Ross to see what they had. That's my baby daddy. Of course, he always finds the sale. And of course, I started looking for myself. <laughs> did not know that they carried half of these brands. So I was excited to see that. Then I went to another TJ Maxx a couple days later. Was still looking for some Juicy Couture. Wasn't really finding what I was looking for still. So I guess I'm going to have to go on eBay to find me some Vintage Juicy. But they did have some cute stuff. It's just not what your girl was looking for. I love me some Betsy Johnson jewelry. But I did not have any luck finding my juicy bag. So maybe next time 
y'all tune in. I'll be finding my bag. But make sure you subscribe to keep up with the Lily lifestyle. I love y'all.